this to be the premier Catholic university in the West. It may sound like an audacious goal, but we think it's achievable. And in the immortal words of Brian Doyle, why not us? Facilities like Dun & Berchtold, which are first class facilities, are gonna help us get there. It's gonna help us to make the vision a reality. Dun & Berchtold Hall is gonna add 17 classrooms, plus a seminar room, plus 36 offices two conference rooms, the Dun & Berchtold Institute, an auditorium dedicated to Brian Doyle. It's going to make a huge difference in how we're able to serve the students. It's absolutely beautiful. I've loved getting to walk around it. It's been a blast just going through here and getting to see everything. It's, it's a little bit of a maze. I've been enjoying trying to figure out navigating the place and getting just to enjoy all the building and see all the, the different aspects of it. It's really nice. Also, this building will stand here for generations of pilots, and that's a blessing knowing that as seniors we leave, but there is this big building that we can come back to. I've said from the beginning that we really wanted to make ethics a centerpiece for the university, and I think the Dun & Berchtold Institute, dedicated as it is to moral formation, character development, applied ethics, is an institute that's gonna have that kind of impact on the university. And so my proposal to Jim and Amy was why not have the institute at the center of that building and have the building at the center of the campus. It is clear that this is a time for the Dun & Berchtold Institute to launch into a new level of programming. Having a good, strong sense of ethics that is something more than just a legal floor, I think that that's really um, a key aspect of the gift from Jim and Amy. This particular building is going to last for hundreds of years and we think that the legacy behind this is that thousands of students are going to be educated there. I think one of the great things about Dunn & Berchtold Hall is that it is indeed a first class academic building. I choose to think of it as a building that is worthy of our students and our faculty and I think it's the way that Jim and Amy would have us think about it.